interview everyone's been waiting for. <laughs> it's Greg Ingham singer with Harold Reynolds. We've been sweating up here for a while. We got Paul Skeens and Libby Dunn, your girlfriend, who obviously gymnast and super social media star. Uh, the two of you are here on your first red carpet before your first All-Star game. What has the experience been like just today for you, Paul? Oh no, it's been it's been awesome. And, and yesterday, being around, being in the clubhouse with all the guys and getting to talk to them, getting to meet everybody. Uh, I mean, these are the guys that I'm playing against that I really don't want to face the entire year. But it's nice to have them all on the on the same team for a day. And you had to change your plans to come here, true or false? Me? Yes. No, I did not have to. You didn't have to. You just came. To tell. I but came I... right after the ISP Awards. I came here, and this has been one of the most fun red carpets I've ever been on. Really? Uh, yes. I was gonna say you've probably done some red carpets. Yeah. So you're used to being upstage on a red carpet, right? So you got to take us through. <laughs> what are you wearing? I'm wearing a neutral colored sparkly dress down to the floor. He's wearing a white suit and a black tie. Love it. I Did love you it. help him at all? Did you help him put that together? Actually, he chose it himself. <laughs> yeah, I, I can dress myself. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's like, I can do this. <laughs> and so we were just talking to Shohei Otani, and I was like, look, man, the American League's wondering what Paul Skeens has got. Maybe you could give him some intel because he did take you deep and get a double off of you. So he walked through how hard it was to pick up the baseball against you. What was it like facing Shohei Otani? It was tough. It was tough to game play against him. He kind of kind of covers everything. So really just had to try and guess what, what he was thinking and throw something else. So what's your approach tonight as you walk on that mound? Just going to try to get out. See, each guy, I mean, they all... They don't have many holes, but um, just going to try to attack them and, and, you know, pitch my game. Hey, Paul, I had to remind the country or the world last night, as you say, not just the country, the world, everybody's watching All-Star, of how good a hitter you were in college. He was Shohei in college, but he decided to pitch. Do you miss hitting? I know I asked you that before, but now we're at an All-Star game. Do you miss hitting at all? Yeah, I miss hitting. I miss catching, too. Uh, just being in the game every single day, that, that's the thing I miss probably the most. Yeah, and Libby, you know, you love fashion. I love fashion. Uh, why is an event like this, why is it important to elevate the stature of a sport like Major League Baseball? Why do you think so? Oh, man. So I just started getting into baseball this year, especially Major League Baseball, and it has been so much fun to watch and to be in the environment of the MLB has been such a pleasure. And he's shown me so much and has taught me so much, and it's been great. Olivia, with Paris coming up and the Olympics and all that, you've been watching the competitions and everything else. Are you excited about it? Yes, I'm super excited. I'm going to Paris to broadcast. I'm very excited. I've never been to Paris. So, oh, wow. Yeah. You're going to fit in great. Thank you. That's great. Fantastic. We look forward to your coverage here. Hey, before I let you go, uh, Juan Soto was on our set and he's like, look, Aaron Judge is batting the first end. I'm not. I will make sure I reach base because the world wants to see you face Aaron Judge. What do you think of that? That'd be pretty cool. I'm, I'm really, you know, cross my fingers that it doesn't happen, but uh, hoping for a one, two, three inning, but it could be worse. On a three, two pitch, you're not going to like just spike one in the dirt just so you're going to give America what they want to see, right? <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I, I don't think I'll do that. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to go straight after him, but uh, definitely would not complain. And I don't think anybody in America would complain if Aaron Judge gets to that in the first inning. Hey, Paul, la last thing for me. What a whirlwind year. I mean, a year ago you were drafted. Here you are starting in the All-Star game. Take us through a little bit through this year for you and what, how you've kind of been able to come up to every hurdle and, and, and attack it and overcome it. Yeah, I think something that, that people kind of don't realize or forget about is just how big the offseason is. Um, you know, just putting in work throughout the offseason and, and having good coaching and uh, good people to work out with, I think, is a big thing. So, and then obviously, you know, showing up in spring training and, and, um, and then, you know, starting in AAA and now here in, in the big leagues, everything's a little bit different. All, all the levels are a little bit different. But learning how to get guys out at, at a higher level, um, that's the biggest thing I've learned through the season. Uh, but the offseason, I think, was, was really big. And L Libby, what's it like watching you pitch? <laughs> My brain can't even process how hard he throws. <laughs> like, it is incredible, and it's such a joy to watch. And he's a great baseball player, but an even better person. That's great. Love that. Awesome hanging out with the two of you. Thank Have you. fun for the rest of the red carpet. And have fun tonight on that mount, okay? Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to it. Superstar Paul Steens joining us here.